So let us derive Dalton's law of partial pressure from ideal gas equation. For that, let us consider a beaker of volume V. Let V be the volume of the beaker, which consisting which consists of three different kinds of gas, the three different types of gas. Let there be a gas A. Let's represent that with white color and another gas B. Let's represent that with the color B. And there is another gas C. Let B of green color. Now each gas exert pressure called the partial pressure. Let's say PA. Because every gas in the beaker exerts a pressure which is independent of the pressure of the other gas. And that pressure is called the partial pressure. Let P B be the partial pressure of B and P C the partial pressure of C. Let N A represents the number of moles of A and N B number of moles of B and N C number of moles of C. Now from the ideal gas equation you have P V equal to N R T. This is called the ideal gas equation or the perfect gas equation. So if you take the take the for the gas A, then the pressure of the partial pressure of the gas A times volume. Volume is same for all the gases because volume is the volume of the container. Equal to number of moles of A. R is constant for all the gases since it is a universal constant. See and temperature also constant because every this whole gas is heated with a temperature T. So, let the, since the beaker is heated with a temperature T, temperature for all the gases remains the same. So, you can write Na is equal to PAV divided by RT. Let's call that as equation number 1. Similarly, for the gas B, we have partial pressure of the gas B times volume is equal to number of moles of the gas B times Rp. Therefore, number of moles of B is equal to Pb times V divided by Rp. Let's call that as equation number 2. Similarly, you can write Nc number of moles of C is equal to partial pressure of C times volume divided by Rp. Let's call that as equation number 3. Now we have Again, if you take this equation, that is this equation, PV equal to NRT. So, from this equation, we have P total, which means the total pressure into volume is equal to total number of moles, let's say N dot into R into T, where this P dot represents the, to the total pressure due to all these gases and N dot represents the total number of molecules. From this equation, we have N total is equal to P total times V divided by RT. Let's call that as equation number 4. But we have total number of moles N dot is equal to number of moles of sum of the number of moles of each gases. Na plus Nb plus Nc. So N dot is equal to P total into V by RT is equal to Na is equal to Pa sorry Pa V divided by RT plus Pb V by RT plus Pc V V divided by RT clear. So, this is equal to, you can write this as P total into V divided by RT is equal to, you can take V by RT from all the equations. So, V by RT from all the terms, V by RT into PA plus PP plus PC. So you can cancel this V by RT and V by RT. V 
which gives total pressure is equal to PA plus PB, A plus PB plus PC. So this is the expression for Dalton's law of partial pressure, which means the total pressure due to the gases is equal to sum of the partial pressures of the individual gases. Also, also if you take Na divided by N total, we have Na is equal to PAV divided by RT divided by N total is equal to P total times V divided by RT. So you can cancel this RT and this RT, this volume also gets cancelled, which means PA by P total is equal to NA divided by N total. So this is equal to PA in equal to NA by N total times P total. So what is this NA by N total? If you look at the equation, if you look at this term, that is NA by N total, that is, this represents number of moles of A divided by total number of moles. That is equal to mole fraction of A. Mole fraction of A. Mole fraction of gas A is equal to number of moles of gas A by total number of moles. So, this can be written as PA, partial pressure of the gas A equal to mole fraction of A times total pressure. Clear. Similarly, you can write partial pressure of B is equal to mole fraction of B times P total. Clear. So, this is the way how will you prove Dalton's law of partial pressure from ideal gas equation. Now let's derive Dalton's law of partial pressure from kinetic theory of gases. For that, let us consider a beaker consisting of three different types of gases. Let's say gas A, gas A, another gas B. For simplicity, I'm just drawing only two molecules. Actually, there are so many molecules. So for, for convenience, let's draw only two molecules. Let mass of each molecule be Ma and Na represents the total number of moles of A. Similarly, Mb represents mass of a molecule of gas B and Nb the total number of moles of B. Similarly, Mc represents mass of a molecule of, remember mass of a molecule of gas is Mc, of gas C is Mc and Nc represents total number of moles. From the kinetic theory of gas, we have the pressure exerted by a gas P equal to 1 by 3 rho P bar square, where rho means the density of the gas, V square means the mean square velocity. So, P is equal to 1 by 3. Density means number of moles into molecular mass divided by volume into V bar square. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. But mass of a gas is equal to number of moles times its molecular mass divided by volume. Remember that. Okay. So, partial pressure of A or the pressure exerted by the gas A will be 1 by 3 number of moles of A into molecular mass of A into V A square which means the mean square velocity of A divided by V. Similarly for pressure exerted by the B or the partial pressure of B equal to 1 by 3 number of moles of B into molecular mass of B into V B square divided by V. V remains the same because V is the volume of the beaker which is which is same for all the gases. Similarly PC equal to 1 by 3 number of moles of C into molecular mass of C 
vc square divided by oria let's call this equation one this one equation two this one equation three now let's say the beaker is provided or heated with a temperature t which means the temperature remains constant for all the gases that is kinetic energy of a is equal to kinetic energy of b equal to kinetic energy of c kinetic energy is the temperature is the measure of kinetic energy so temperature remains constant means kinetic energy of the molecules of the gas remains same so kinetic energy of a molecule of gas equal to half mass of molecule mass of a molecule of a into va square va means the mean square velocity of molecule a equal to half mb vb square equal to half mc vc square you can cancel this half and if you multiply Avogadro number with all the terms that is Na Ma Va square equal to Avogadro Na means Avogadro number Na Mb Vb square equal to Nc Mc Vc square so what is the value Avogadro number into mass of a molecule so this will give this will give the molecular mass of a that is m a v a square this is equal to m a similarly this one will be molecular mass of p m b v b square equal to m c v c square equal to m v bar square where m is the M means the average molecular mass of all the molecules and V bar represents the average mean square velocity. Therefore, PA plus PB plus PC will be PA is equal to 1 by 3 NA. This can be replaced with MV square m p bar square divided by b plus 1 by 3 similarly for b this can be replaced with m v bar square that is n b m v bar square divided by b plus for c it is 1 by 3 n c m v bar square divided by b this can be written as 1 by 3 m v bar square by v into n a plus n b plus n c clear so this is equal to this will be 1 by 3 m v bar square divided by v into n a plus n b plus n c will be total number of modes so this is equal to 1 by 3 number of total number of moles times the molecular mass by volume into v bar square this actually represents the total pressure p total clear so we can write this as total pressure p total is equal to P A plus P B plus P C. From here also you can write P A by P total is equal to P A is equal to 1 by 3 N A M V bar square divided by volume divided by P total equal to 1 by 3 N total m v bar square divided by v you can cancel this one by three m v square also get cancelled v also get cancelled therefore p a is equal to n a divided by n total into 
P total. So PA is equal to like we said before, NA by NB means mole fraction of A times P total. Clear. So partial pressure of A is equal to mole fraction into total pressure. So this is the way how you prove, prove Dalton's law of partial pressure from kinetic theory of gases. Clear.